Hi, so today we'll discuss about how the VOIP works. So what's the VOIP is basically? VOIP full form is voice over internet protocol. So while you are using the web app, the web application, if the IVR has been activated, the IVR, the VOIP, that is the internet based calling has been activated, then how to make the calls and how the call functionality works. We need to understand that. So now, as we all know that once we log in, the, initially we need to log in through our user credentials in the web application. And the first screen that we come across is the screen. So from here, we can make the calls from there are different ways how we can make the calls. And we do have uh, that particular another video as well for how to use the web app in a much better way. And all the features are also been explained in that video. So now in this video, we'll focus on how to make and receive the calls through IVR internet based calling. Now, in order to make a call, what I'll do is I can make the calls from anywhere, like my campaign, my lead start and all, but I'll try to make it a call from a number that I do have. So I'll just search for that number. Okay. I got the number. I'll do one thing. I'll just simply click on that lead. I'll try to make a call by clicking on the number itself. So I'll click on allow this time. Yeah. Now I'm trying to we can see the call got received and the timer has also started counting off. We can just uh, mute and unmute also and we can pause the call as well. Okay. Now while being on call itself, we'll be able to dispose it and do whatever the uh, whatever is necessary to make the call updated so i'll simply hang up the call okay so this is how the vip works so when a vip that means the ivr in the in simple language if the internet based calling ivr has been activated in our account when we are using the web app so obviously if an internet based uh, ivr has been activated we need to use the web app we won't be able to make the calls from mobile application Okay, if we want to do a uh, international call, so for that mobile application won't support. So at that point of time, we need to take an international IVR and international IVR will also will only be VOIP or WebRTC or internet based calling. So through internet, we will be able to initiate the call and whenever our incoming call comes in, we'll be able to receive it from this inter uh, from within this web app itself through internet. So now we have understood that how to make the calls and once we receive the call, we will be able to dispose it and whatever is necessary, we can do it. Now we need to understand that if a callback comes in, then what's going to happen? So obviously, so if we have taken this particular IVR, so obviously our particular virtual number will get associated with this particular account. Now, whenever we initiate a call to any of the customer or any other person, whoever we are trying to reach out. That particular person will receive a call from that particular virtual number which has been associated in this account so once that particular person wants to call back to that particular virtual number itself then what's going to happen is once we make the call we need to see that how it looks like okay so i have tried initiating a call from my phone to that virtual number from where i have already received a call earlier when i was trying to make the outgoing calls from the web app so I'm initiating the call from there. So just, yeah. So I'm just trying to call that you can see. You Once a call is coming, okay. We have got a pop-up at the bottom. You, so you can see incoming, incoming call. call on Neodoff. You're getting an incoming call from texting. That you means the call. lead name. Okay. It has also been shown. And at the top, it's been you shown. Have an incoming call. If we just pick it up, we can see the number the name of the lead in which campaign it's been present and the latest status and the stage as well. So from here, if we just simply need to copy the number that also we can do along with that, we would be able to see in the call lock section as well. So once we have received it automatically, we can see the call in the call lock section, a lead, a log has been created right now in 946 and the time is 946 as we can see. So automatically if, a, uh, so this particular number is already been created in my account. So that's why all the details has been fetched up. If a from any of the new number is coming automatically, once we receive the call, the call log will get created. And accordingly, we can just simply click on view. We'll get all the details, the name, number, uh, the details. And then accordingly, we can just simply dispose it while being on call itself. So this is how, so, uh, like this is how the incoming call works. Basically we can see over here, uh, like in the incoming call, particular uh, lead card, this, this is the whole call option. 
this is the add call option and this is a mute and unmute option if in case we want to add a call or we want to take any one of them on conference we can simply click on this add call and then we can just put any of the number with a prefix 91 and then we can click on go automatically the call will get connected to that third person as well once they uh, fix it up then the conference call will start within the three person and while being on call while the three person got connected then after that if we just hang up the call then the second person and the third person will be on call itself and that will work as a call transferring that is how we can transfer the call so initially we need to uh, call the third person we need to make it on conference once the conferencing works then we can just simply hang it up and we can just get out of the call and then that both the other two persons will be on call and after when whatever the conversation they will have once they hangs up all those particular conversation also gets recorded and we will get it in the deposit so so i'll just simply hang the call now so this is how basically the duip or the internet based calling works how to initiate it and how to receive it and how to utilize it so whenever we make a call so uh, in the case of incoming calls in ivr we don't need to uh, like uh, focus on like uh, creating a lead or something automatically a lead will get created and it's gonna help us to monitor and analyze much in a better way so that's all thank you